Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal, and it's time for me to declutter my pink lipsticks. I'll tell you, I didn't think I had this many pinks. Like, I, I had no knowledge that I had this many. There's a lot of them in here. All right, so let me dump them out. We'll kind of categorize them a little bit, and we'll go through them. they are there's 32 lipsticks that's a lot I know for sure I'm not getting rid of any of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I'm gonna start by swatching these first I love these lipsticks oh this one is velvet pompadour this is a newer one to me but I love these velvet lipsticks they're so good this is an insanely saturated this is skyscraper rose punchy this is velvet petal this is love of my life. This is one of those luxuriously lucent lipsticks. I love that color and that formula. This is Velvet Rain. This kind of leans a little bit more neutral, but I really, really like it. Here's another luxuriously lucent. This one is in Wonder Wheel. It's so bright and punchy. It's perfect for summer. Love this. This is probably my most used. This one is Velvet Muse. It's, it's kind of riding the line between like a nude pink and a nude. And I've got it on the edge here, so it's kind of a weird swatch. But I love this one. I mean, like, yeah, it's flat. You can tell I reach for it all the time. <laughs> so we're keeping these seven. Here's another one that I love. This is from YSL. This is a Rouge Volupte Shine formula. And this is kind of like a cool pink that I never really thought I would like. This is number 44. This is so good. This is like a nearly nothing lipstick. I kind of use it like balm but it's so pretty. I've got some here from M Cosmetics. There is the formula they don't make anymore. This is the Infinite Lip Cloud, and this one here is in the shade Rose Nude. I don't know, I might have to keep this because it's just such a pretty color. I love this color. I think the problem I've been having is, although I think their new formula, I'm gonna hang on to this by the way, their new formula, which is their soft spoken velvet lip cream is so good formula wise. I feel like most of the shades pull really orange on me because I have four shades um, and I think there's only eight. I think I already have like half of them. Um, this one here is Intuition. And if you look at Intuition, it looks a little warmer, doesn't it? And this is supposed to be a deep rose. That does not look rose to me. And maybe it's on my skin tone, but I feel like every single one of these not bright shades turns this way. But the formula is to die for. I'm actually wearing this one today. I'm going to put a little bit more on. That's staying. Here's the one that doesn't pull like brown at all. This one is a bright strawberry pink and it is bright. I mean, yes. Um, this one, by the way, is this shade Flutter. I really like this one, but this is one that I have to um, kind of be intentional about because I haven't figured out what sort of eye makeup to wear with this yet, but I, I am hanging on to that. All right, here's one I know I can let go of. This is the Color Stay Satin Ink. I never really liked this formula from Revlon. This is the shade Silky Sienna. I never liked this formula. I don't like this color. She can go. This is from Rose Ink. This is one of their kind of matte lip pencils. I think the formula is nice. I really like the color. The color is quartz, but I, I haven't really used it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't think I was gonna do that. Here is one, look how teeny tiny this pencil is. Like this NARS pencil has given a lot of good use. This is, um, Rikujian. This is, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, um, but one of my favorite, this is the satin pencil. I love this. I think it's a satin pencil, is it? Yes, it's a satin lip pencil. And I don't know if it's Rikujian or Rikugian, but love this. This isn't going anywhere. Both of these pencils are the same formula. They just have updated the packaging to this from this, but this is the Velvety Matte Lip Crayon from Beauty Pie. This one here, I've used this so much. This one is called Caught Me. It's supposed to be like a warm pink. It looks a little bit more warm here. Um, and this one here is Pep Talk Pink. Let's, 
I'm swatching them in the wrong spots. I like that Pep Top Pink is a little bit darker, um, but I think I'm gonna hang on to both of these. I like this formula a lot, and I feel like if you're looking for a matte lipstick, these matte crayons are good, as well as her traditional matte lipstick in the bullet. Do not get one of the unlipsticks. Do not. All right, obviously I have some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Here is one of the Juvia's Place matte lipsticks. This is the shade Kebby. I really loved this shade when I first got it, but I just haven't been reaching for it. It's such a, oh, look at that. It's such a pretty shade. Mmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let this go. I've had this for so long, but I just don't reach for it. Here's one I know I can let go of. This is the shade Pinup right here from Beauty Pie. It's because they don't even make the satin formula anymore. I wish they did, because it's really nice. Um, it's a nice punchy shade, but yeah, I don't reach for that. Talk about another one that I don't reach for. Look at Miss Guerlain here. Like, I love these um, Rouge G lipsticks, but mm -mm. I haven't used this one in forever, and I kept saving it thinking I was going to, and I just don't. So I think it's time to let this Rouge G lipstick go. I don't know how much I paid for it. This is the shade Gladys, but it's kind of been through the mill. I love the packaging, I think, more than the formula. The fact that there's like a regular mirror and a magnifying mirror in here, but I, I'm not gonna keep it just for that. If I want a different one, I wanna get a shade that I would actually use if I'm gonna have a big bougie lipstick like this, because look how much space it takes up. I mean, it's beautiful, but no. This one is from Estee Lauder. This is their sculpting lipstick in rebellious rose this is such a pretty shade this formula is also really nice um i think that if i'm going to keep it i need to actually use it okay these two here are some of my favorite lipsticks not just drugstore lipsticks favorite lipsticks these are the milani matte fetish lipsticks and this is the shade secret such a pretty kind of nudie pink and this one here is Petal. I love this so much. Such a pretty, pretty shade. These lipsticks are under $10. These are worth all the hype. If you love a matte, comfortable lipstick but don't wanna pay like Lisa Eldridge prices, I'm not saying they're a dupe because they're not, but I think this formula is one of the more comfortable lipsticks and not just drugstore lipsticks, one of the more comfortable matte lipsticks out there. Love this formula, really, really like it. I actually have, I think, four or five of this formula. Like it a lot, these aren't going anywhere. All right, Miss Hourglass, this is one of the new lipsticks. These are the Confession Satin Lipsticks. This is the shade Dahlia. And here's the problem with this. This is such a nice shade, I really like it. I, I like the, the packaging. Um, you do have to kind of put it in carefully because if you put it in upside down like this, it, it won't go in or you think you're going in. It has to be exactly the way it's supposed to. Then the magnet pulls it down. I like that. I think this is a really cute little touch here with the H and the bunny. Um, but if you're standing it up, you got to stand it up like this. I like standing mine up so I can read what shade it is, but then it's going to be like falling over. That's okay. I I'm going to hang on to it for now. She was 30 what dollars? 38 dollars? The problem I have with this is that the longer I wear it, there's something in here that turns my lips hot pink. Now, I have a lot of other lipsticks that stain my lips, but when this color on the surface wears off and I go to reapply, I'm applying it over hot pink lips, like hot pink lips. And so it doesn't read this color anymore. I like the way it feels on the lips, but I don't wanna spend $38 on a lipstick that starts out like this and halfway through the day turns into this business here because I can reapply and reapply and reapply and I can never cover up the pink. I don't know if it's just me. If you've had that experience, please let me know. Cause like, I really want to love it. Everything about it is fabulous except for the deep pink it leaves my lips. Here's one I know I can let go because I've only swatched it and I've never worn it. This is the iconic cherries in the snow. It's such a pretty color. I just haven't worn it from Revlon. Um, and I know that their um, super lustrous lipsticks are really nice. It just doesn't inspire me. I love the Revlon Glass Shine lipsticks. <gasps> yes, so goodbye cherries in the snow, but this one isn't going anywhere. This one is um, their Glass Shine and this is Glossed Up Rose. Love this. It really reminds me of the, where is it? Of this formula from YSL. I feel like the formulas are similar, although the shades are different. They're so glorious, love that. 
So I have this little tiny Entre lipstick from Givenchy. This is a sample and I wanted to love this lipstick. Um, this is, I think, shade 18, oh, 116, not 118. It's a really pretty shade. This leaves my lips drier than dry. Uh, I would never want to buy this formula, and this is the uh, Intense Silk formula. I would never want to buy this full price because it's in the $30 range, low 40s, and it abuses my lips. Like, the color is pretty. I don't care how pretty the color is, but if you end up ruining my lips, no. Denied. Okay. I normally don't fall for kitschy packaging like this, but isn't this the cutest? So this is the Kaja Love Swipe. Do you know how beautiful this formula is? It really reminds me of the formula from M Cosmetics, but the color, I want more of these. This one here is called Adore You. I feel like I'm running out. Please tell me I'm not running out. There we go. So it's kind of like a matte, but super hydrating at the same time lip. I love this. I feel like I might need another one of these because I've been using it a lot. Also, my 13 year old, every time they see it, they grab it and go like, ah, and I have to like go and find it and excavate it from their room somewhere, but they love this. This right here is a really nice lipstick from the drugstore. This I think is like under $5. Is it $3.99? This is the semi matte lipstick from Essence. I can't believe how good this formula is. This formula here is comfortable. It doesn't last all day, but it's not meant to, but it's not super shiny. It doesn't drag, it doesn't make my lips dry. It's super pretty. The packaging, I feel like I wish the packaging was just like a little bit better, but it has the E on top for essence and it has like the rose gold on the bottom and it has a sticker with the name on it and the number. So yeah, I think I'm gonna hang on to this. This is actually a really nice lipstick. Oh, Pat McGrath, you might hate me. I'm not keeping this. This is one of the satin fetish lipsticks, the kind of creamy ones. Um, I, okay, this is the shade of 404 Sextrology. And it's not a shade that I reach for. The formula is okay, it's not my fave. I just, I don't know. I love the packaging, like come on, I love the packaging. But if I'm not wearing the lipstick, I'm not paying $39 for another one of these. Two Charlotte Tilbury, one is the queen. This is a bright, like hot pink. Look at that, wow. Okay, I don't wear this one a lot, but when I do, I love this one. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. The other one, of course, is the iconic Pillow Talk. <laughs> like, come on, Charlotte names everything this color. Um, I actually really like this lipstick. So I know it's kind of annoying that Charlotte names everything Pillow Talk, but there's a reason this lipstick is iconic. The formula is great, the color is fantastic. Um, I like that she has a Pillow Talk Medium and Pillow Talk Deep so that everybody can wear kind of like their perfect nude shade. Last one I have here is from Gucci. This is one of their sheer Voil lipsticks. This is the shade Love is Better. I love how sheer and lightweight this is. I really like it. You know what's interesting though? I don't know if it's this one. I don't feel it this way, like when I'm rubbing my thumb over it, but when I put it on, sometimes I feel like there's little, little grains. It almost feels slightly scratchy. I love the way that it looks. Like this color here is fabulous. I like the color. I like the way it feels on my lips. But sometimes when I'm applying it from the bullet straight to my lips, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of gritty. And I think it might be that some of the oils in here are kind of coalescing into like little spheres and that's what I'm feeling. I wish the experience was a little bit better and maybe this one has been on like the shelf for a long time. Maybe one straight from the um, lab that has just been made would have a slightly different feel to it. But I'll tell you, uh, this is not making me wanna run out and get another one of these Gucci lipsticks like the packaging does. The packaging is 10 out of 10, but I want the product on the inside to be fabulous. And for this nearly $40 price, I feel like the product is good, but it doesn't make me wanna get another one. Whereas I couldn't even tell you how many Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I have, and these guys are $36 a piece. I feel like they're worth it. I have what I like. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of her, but I, I was a little let down. That's a lot of swatching. Let me clean up and tell you what we're keeping, what we're getting rid of. I'm getting rid of these eight lipsticks. 
and I'm keeping these 24. I feel like these are the ones I'm most likely to reach for. Now you may be thinking, what are you gonna do with 24 lipsticks? <laughs> Probably lose track of them, but try and wear them and show them equal love. That's my goal. My goal is that everybody gets to be used, but I don't even think I'm gonna miss these guys. Like literally don't remember the last time I reached for any of these. Here's where I'm gonna remind you that nobody needs as many lipsticks as I have. I have this many because I have a YouTube channel, so please don't feel like you need to keep up with those of us who have a YouTube channel. Buy what you're going to use. If you don't like it, return it. I know a lot of people think that that's a controversial thing. You know what? If you would not keep the pair of pants that don't fit you when you take them home and try them on, you take it back. And the good news is most places will take returns even after you've tried the product on. But um, do your research, decide what you want so you're not creating waste. But also if you're not gonna use it, spend your money on something that you will. Um, I feel like all of these lipsticks that I'm getting rid of had a good run in my collection. I just only wanna keep what I'm loving at the moment so I can kind of Marie Kondo these guys here. And it makes it easier for me to see what I have and really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I will leave the rest of my makeup declutter um, in the description box down below if you wanna watch the rest of it. Um, but I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.